Good morning, everybody. How are ya? It's so cute. Um, hold on, let me turn this down. I was rocking and rolling this morning. It's only, well, it's 8.30 now. I've been up for two hours already. Um, okay. Happy Hump Day, first and foremost. Oh, there goes Byron's book. Somebody's having a bad day. I hate when I hear them. Um, first and foremost, thank you guys for all your support through the last several weeks that I've been going through absolute hell. Um, worry. Um, and my family too has been so supportive towards me. That's here, you know. So we have, excuse me, I have to call. <coughs> I'm so, one side of my face, you can probably tell, swells. And my, I, one of my molars, like, it just is killing. Last night I couldn't figure out, like, where it was coming from because the pain is, like, so everywhere. Um, so probably something I hate dental stuff I hate it I didn't have to have that on top of all this other shit anyways we have a breakthrough one of my brilliant nieces was able to make contact with my father so he's alive he's well because I'll tell you guys since the 20th no the 19th the day before the surgery because that was my fight day um the 20th was the surgery to yesterday which was the 26th I believe, right? Yeah, 26th. I, have a, I was in a parking garage yesterday, so I want to be here, but the 26th, I don't know if the man was alive, he was dead or whatever. I was just like left to like my own racing and nervous thoughts. How would I know? Anything. So I mean, one of my brilliant nieces was able to get a text through. I think what happened was after I put it on blast on Facebook, that either the stepmother who's gonna go and um, is divorcing his ass, <laughs> is um, went and probably took his phone and started unblocking us all because he was like, you're not blocked, you're not blocked. Yeah, we were. I have to, do you think I would make an allegation like that? I mean, I have the receipts, like where the things start going undeliverable and they start changing from green. I'm sorry, you guys. They start going from green to blue. So I don't know if she quickly went on black us all because he was damned and it sounds like he thinks I would make some, like all she had to do is text me back. If I'm not black, why? And, and how do I have the wrong number now? She has the same number. She got through, everybody has. The same number they all got blocked one after and what was happening is as the text their calls would come in then they would get blocked i don't think she went in or he went in and blocked but i'm gonna get to the bottom of this somebody's gonna be held accountable for this like you don't do that you don't block out the whole entire family because of your choices so he's alive and well and he just said he's getting stronger every day and then he needs rest and relaxation which i think was a dog whistle for me to back but, you know, no matter what, he's worth fighting for. He's my father. And I'm not going to just go like, oh, okay. And having a major surgery that I've been deeply entrenched in for four months, you know. Well, when I was there in June and then when she left, he wasn't having this. It was like a week or two after he had an appointment with a, the cardi a cardiologist and did ultrasounds. That's when all this cartoid blockage 95% came into play. So... That's fine. And my niece is like, what are you going to do? And I said, I'm not doing nothing. The next move is on him. He can call me when he's ready. I've done enough. And I've worried enough. I need some R&R. &R. He needs some I need some R&R. &R. I want to show you guys a couple things this morning, too. These, I got a couple things. So these, I got these at TJ Maxx. Because um, you guys probably know, well, I don't know if you know, but I make my own coffee every day. Because I just don't like stopping and whatever. And then I, I bring it like back up. And in the summer, I, I had a, a nice cup that I had a nice straw and I would put um, just, I'd make coffee, then I put it in a container in the fridge. And then I would just make my own iced coffee every morning. Um, so it worked out really nice. Um, but so these were $4.99 for 10. And it was a little extra. I mean, they're not extravagant, but it's not like it's needed. Um, but 
I figured only like 50 cents a piece and that's cheaper than what I would spend for a coffee. And you could probably reuse it more than once. I don't know. Just depends on how thrifty you want to be. It is cardboard. But I just thought they were cute. I needed a couple things to lift my spirit. So I want to show you guys something else. For all the ladies out there. This. I'm blind. You guys are really blind. You know this, right? This. Elf Putty. Oh, Putty Blush. Sorry. Um, by Elf. I was at Old Navy because I needed to get a new sweater. Um, you know, like a duster type. I wear those all the time. And um, so I, I bought this color. They had a lot of nice colors. They had all the browns that are in style. They're black, off white, and gray. But I got this just for. I have some suede ankle boots this color, like a heel on them. So I figured I didn't wear them at all last year. So if I have that, it'll make me wear them. Okay, you guys, this stuff is so good. They had this. It was an impulse buy because they had this in the checkout at Old Navy. And uh, now this color is, um, what is this color? Um, it's just called Blush Pate. They had another color with it called Bora Bora, which I almost got that one. It had more, it was like more of like an orange color. That's how I would describe it, but it's probably not the right description. But you guys, this stuff is great. Cheeks. You can put like three ninety nine. Video lips. I mean, I did. <laughs> Your cheeks. You can do above your eyes if you want. I don't even know what I'm doing because I don't have my glasses on. But anyways, you could do a little up here if you wanted. I mean, this thing goes everywhere. It really is. I. It does everything. I never think I. Uh, well, I, and I bought another thing too. I don't think I have it with me. It's at the house. I bought a concealer too. Terrible. The driest thing. Like it's like, is there anything even on it? Is there anything even in the bottle? So I wouldn't I would never buy that again. I think it was just a couple bucks too, but this stuff, yes. Indeed. And then I bought something else for myself because my hair was looking like an absolute disaster movie. I cut it, I cut some of my hair. Um it's still like long to here, but I just really chop, chop, chop the, chopped all the like layers back. Um, and I got this. I had bought something from this company um, over the summer. It was called Wave Spray. It was like this big, and it's fourteen dollars. I never got a chance to use it. My daughter stole it because it makes her hair like wavy, I guess. I don't know. I, I didn't even, I thought I was buying a heat protectant because my hair was drying, frizzing, like just crunchy, getting nasty. But anyways, same with, same what's been going on. So anyways, it bought this, you pronounce this we, I come to find out. Um, cause I, I was calling it O, uh, O U we. And then I looked online to see reviews and people, all the young kids, they know how to pronounce we. I think that's how you spell we in French. I don't know. Anyways, this is a hair mask. This was $37. Okay. Which you know, I'm like pushing it to me. I mean, I'm really pushing it. But they have it for thin uh, and um, thin hair, medium, thin and medium, and then thick. I got the thick hair. And I already used it. it. Smells so good. So you wash your hair, you know, and then you just put this in. And I actually have like one of those bonnets my daughter has, so I put that on um, and sat in the tub for a while. And it says eight to ten minutes. I did like a half an hour because I needed all I could get out of this. And um, you just do it once a week. So I have it on my back, so I'm going to give it to my mom to let her do it, too. My daughter already used it, too. So, I mean, I know it's $30, but look, two people with long hair already used it. Can you see that? And there's that much left. And a little goes a long way, even with my dry, crunchy hair. But then after that, I cut, cut it. I probably should have cut it before I did this, but whatever. Um, and... Yeah, I think it's worth it if your hair is like dry, crunchy, and you're having flyaways everywhere. And you're only going to use it once a week, so I think it's going to last a long time. If 
if you only use it once a week and you don't have a daughter who steals everything from you or you hide it <laughs> from your your daughter um so i think it's worth it because i feel like if you go to the salon for like a deep conditioning treatment it's going to cost you like 30 dollars alone and this whole thing is 30. it's good I, i'm kicking myself because i should have did a quick video like hi this is what my hair looks like now and let's see what it looks like after with this i didn't it looks so much better maybe next time if i do a video my hair's done you guys will see how much more healthy it it, it looks i mean the cut i think cutting off all the d dead ends helped too but yeah if you need something or if you need blush i'm telling you you can't go wrong with this blush putty and um this stuff is amazing and that's pretty much all i'm here to say i got a busy 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 day and i just wanted to check in with you thank you guys for all your support i don't know if i would have made it without you guys because i needed to vent to somebody and i'm really glad i did that video because that allowed me to just send it to my because there's five of them he has five grandchildren and uh so they knew like what was going on on my side because they know that I would never abandon any of them, especially, you know, someone, especially somebody who's sick like that. So, anyways. Oh, quick update with my niece's um, puppy, Jax. He's freaking adorable. He's already 40 pounds, a little ratty boy. Um, so, she's been sending him to this poshy, bougie daycare, and they have trainers there, and they came to her house to train him. It cost her $300, but okay, whatever. So yesterday, because she called me yesterday, I was scared when she calls. I'm like, oh my God, is my dad alive? <laughs> and I got a hold of her and she's going to tell me. But anyways, it wasn't. It was that she got a hold of him. Um, but, you know, my nerves are at top throttle here. I'm on full throttle. But not anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there, Tom. Um, so she brings him to this bougie pet daycare. So yesterday... Um, when she got there to pick them up, they said it is only for puppies, like 25 weeks and younger or something like that. And they had him isolated by himself, like in a kennel. And they said that they had, they isolated him all day because he's playing, he plays rough and he has a Rottweiler. <laughs> and the owner supposedly has a Rottweiler. And I, I mean, I've had two ratty puppies. I've never seen them play any rougher than any other dogs. And I guess there's pit bulls there and everything. I mean, and there's some Burmese Mountain dogs. There's some bigger breed dogs there. And she's like, she said she wanted to cry because she felt bad because she's sending them there to socialize and everything. And they isolate them, like basically put them in timeout all day. And so she's upset. And the other thing is, that's where our trainers are. So I like, I told her, I'm like, why didn't they just, if they're the trainers too, why didn't they do something? Or to pull a trick out of their hat, like, you know, to train, I mean, it's a puppy. So anyways, I just gotta deal with that. But it's not insane, like, you send your dog, your dog to doggy daycare, and he ends up spending the whole day alone by himself where all the other pups are playing. So, I don't know, she'll figure it out. We always figure it out in the end, right? But I appreciate you guys, you guys pull me through. I know it's like I'm just talking to empty air and I don't know who's watching and who's not. It's been a humiliating situation for me because, just because, I mean, I got literally disinvited and excommunicated because I didn't want to play in the playground with somebody who, who has done terrible things, in my opinion, over the course and showed us who she truly was over the course of the last four months, right? And, um, and I'm, I'm like, the victim no i'm just kidding but you know like in other words i'm innocent in all this and i get treated like i'm the bad one i mean it was like the most confusing my mind was so confused um so that's it so i hope you guys have a great wednesday i hope to see you soon um i'm so happy armchair detectives out of here i just wish that that i put that video about that guy Scott the other day like why is he going for other people all right like just stay focused on celebrating and the healing for the root sex that can come through you know by this um if you guys saw it or you didn't I don't know but it's fine you know 
I'm like, I don't hold grudges. Like, I get upset and I'll spot off and then I'll be like, whatever, I say what I have to say and then I just move on. I'm not gonna hold, I don't hold grudges on people. Um, it'd have to be like an extreme toxic, like just completely day in and day out, like animal. even use that word but, but I'm using it because somebody else uses it um to for me to just be like no 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 there's no crossing back over um so for me like but that's me all right love you guys thanks for your support but he's good he's alive that's all you know I was mostly worried about what if he isn't on this earth anymore and I don't know and I didn't get to say you know I love you to you one last time it was really messing with my head all right, I don't even want to get into it because you guys know I'll get. But, um, go ahead. Got you. Buy the hair mask. I mean, if you can. You know, any hair mask would probably do. I don't know. I never had one, so that's why I think this one's the best. <laughs> no. But that, I've had a lot of blushes, and I'm telling you, this blush rocks. Okay? Love you, bye.